Poland is marking the fifth anniversary of the 2010 plane crash in Russia that killed its president, Lech Kaczynski, and 95 others. The investigation into the crash is still going on. This week a Polish radio station, RMFFM, leaked a transcript of cockpit recordings suggesting that presidential aides had put pressure on the pilots to land at Smolensk despite thick fog. Polish military prosecutors called the transcript imprecise. The plane wreckage remains in Russia. The disaster happened as the president, his wife, and top government officials were traveling to Katyn, the remote wooded spot where Soviet secret police murdered thousands of Polish officers in 1940. The Russian-built Tupolev Tu-154 airliner crashed just short of the runway near Smolensk in western Russia, after it hit trees in heavy fog. The official ceremony took place at the Pawski Military Cemetery, where President Bronis Lokomorowski laid a wreath at a memorial plaque. But a large crowd held Polish flags aloft outside the presidential palace in Warsaw, where the Law and Justice Pies, party, previously led by Lech Kaczynski, held its own commemoration ceremony. According to the leaked transcript, Polish Air Force Commander-in-Chief Andrzej Blasik was in the cockpit and told the pilots just before the crash, you'll make it easily. The transcript suggests that the pilots were distracted by people in or around the cockpit in the crucial minutes when they were deciding whether or not to land. RMFFM Radio said Polish investigators had used new techniques to decipher parts of the cockpit voice recording, provided by the Russian authorities. The poor quality of the recording has hampered the investigation.